you know, just um, you know, continue to play the game one possession at a time. I thought the the uh, group at the start of the fourth kick started us off well, um, and then um, when some of our guys, some of our starters came back in, I thought they really played well. Al played, I think, 16 straight minutes or 15 straight minutes, um, and I told him I'd use one of my timeouts that I didn't use, so he was probably pissed at me, um, but. Uh, he is, uh, I thought, his play on the glass, his play protecting the rim, and then everybody else moving the ball and finding the next right shot just kind of allowed us to hit singles and get back in it. Sharp Blakely, NBC Sports Boston. Coach, uh, fourth quarter, Kyrie had a ton of big shots for you, but Jason Tatum also did. Uh, speak to what just his timely shot making meant for your team in, in this particular game. Well, first of all, Kyrie... Um, was incredible in coming back. And when he gets on a run like that, he's going to draw even more attention than he already draws, which is as much as anybody draws in the league. Um, and so in the last couple minutes of the game, he just made the right play. He got off the ball, he, he drew two, and, and other guys made plays. And it started with Jalen's kick out in transition, which was one of the best plays I've ever seen him make. I just I told him after the game, I'm so happy um, for him just thinking about him driving left, jumping up in the air, and delivering a pass to the opposite corner is a tremendous, tremendous play. Um, and then Kyrie got off of it a couple times because they doubled him or showed off of him. And Tatum was able to drive one time for the dunk, one time for the dump off. And um, I was really encouraged by the way we shared the ball and just made the right play. And, and then Kyrie was special. Coach, you rode Terry uh, for eight plus minutes during the fourth quarter, and you look at his box score, and it wasn't like he was scoring all over the place or putting up huge numbers. But what did you see that made you ride him for that time, and how did he ch help to change the game? I think that he can. Um, I think sometimes when you're when it's going like that, you, you need to be able to score, obviously, but you also need to be able to pick the ball up, make them a little bit more uncomfortable, do those types of things. And I think Terry obviously does a good job of that. And that's one of the advantages of playing a, a little bit lesser minutes is you got more energy to do stuff like that. Um, and when we're at our best, he does a good job of that. And um, he was huge in that comeback, way more than the stats, as you said. I think his, I don't always think the plus minus tells us the, the most accurate story, but tonight I think with him, it's very accurate. Mark James Ness in Boston. Coach, uh, Kyrie Irving talked about how this team's going to be better in the playoffs. Do you feel now that, you know, with the end of the regular season into the first two games of the series that the team is sort of peaking at the right time? I mean, I don't know. We don't score in that last two minutes. It's not probably the, the question, right? So um, play the next game one possession at a time. We've been up 2-0. Heading to Washington two years ago, heading to Milwaukee last year, heading to Philly last year, heading to Cleveland. And in three of those games, we got our doors blown off in the first six minutes of the game. So it's a different, it's a, every game's its own entity. You don't think about how good you played or how lucky you were or anything else. You try to get it done. You move on to what's next and play the next possession, and it's hard. Um, we have to be ready for what's coming in game three. Uh, Brad, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media. Um, the defensive stops that you got at key moments that kind of led to the uh, runs, especially the one at the end of the game. Um, if you could talk about uh, overall the defense you guys yeah. had, the, the stops, and Al's role in that. I thought our defense was really good. Bogdanovich hit a couple of incredible shots. Wesley Matthews hit a tough shot fading away off of a kick out that I thought was a, you know, a high pass where he had to jump for it, land, and shoot it. That's hard. Um, but I thought uh, our defense in the last five minutes was excellent and then certainly in the last few possessions. Because we had a couple empty possessions before that when they were up two, came back down and got stops and kept playing. Um, but Al was, Al was great in the paint for us, um, both protecting the rim on some of those drives, guarding in isolation at the top of the key, and then, um, and then rebounding. Final two questions. John, please. John Corrales, MassLive.com. Miles Turner was really dominant good. in the third quarter. Sure was. But then you guys made a run in the fourth without him there. Can you just speak a little bit to the, the defensive presence? The uh, way? Fantastic. Yeah, he played fantastic. He, he protected the rim um, at the rim, and he guarded drives. You know, I thought that – I said this before. They, they've really hung their hat on not being a switching team, and they've switched a ton in the first two games. 
um, as you know, probably in response a little bit to the last couple of regular season games, which is, and they've really made it tough. And you can only do that if your bigs can really move and can catch up to plays. And Miles caught up to a lot of plays. And we, you know, we we looked a little bit like um, Milwaukee last year, where we, we we forced some tough shots off one foot headed to the rim against him. And if he blocks it and it gets out, it's problems on the other end. Those are. Those are quick swing baskets for the other team. So you got to be really good with your rim decisions when he's around. Hey, Brad, Bill Burt, uh, CNHA. Uh, down 11 going into the fourth quarter. W wasn't really a, a great performance by you guys up until then. Very good by Indiana. What happened? What, what was the difference? What, Very good by Indiana. Course? Yeah, first of all, I think, you know, again, I, we can talk about us and, and, and we struggled at times, but Indiana – played physical, they played tough, they gave us a, a heck of a shot, scored 20 in the first six minutes of the first and third. Like, um, they set the tone for both halves. They were they were just really good and we had to just battle. Um, and I credit our guys. I felt like in the end of the first, we were flying off screens, guarding them, and we still weren't getting stops. Um, and that was a little nerve wracking, to be honest. But. We've been through enough of these games where 12 points isn't that much. And you just play again, hit singles, play the next possession, and make it as tough as possible. It's a hard game. And they, and they were terrific tonight. And we were just good enough to get by.